Welcome to Telabs Optical Land Security. This video is designed to help prepare Telabs partner sales teams to be able to reference and position the optical land solution to their customers. Specifically, this module will deal with the security features of the Telabs Optical Land solution. The topic covered in this video is network security as it relates to the Telabs Panorama Pond Manager, system wide applications, the optical plant, and the optical network terminal. A secure LAN starts with the Telabs Panorama Pond Manager, which is the element management interface for the optical LAN. Within the Telabs Pond Manager, role based access for users is established through strict authentication and authorization. This is where secure passwords are assigned and managed. Based on IT staff credentials, privileges are defined for what a user can view and modify. Then the activity of the IT staff can be tracked, which helps root cause analysis during troubleshooting and can help with junior IT staff training. User management is very important for achieving the highest levels of security, stability, and operational efficiencies. The Telabs Pond Manager supports IP version 6 and IPsec, which add additional security functions. Finally, Telabs Pond Manager is where secure profiles and templates are created for ONTs, ports, connections, and other network elements. Within these secure profiles and templates, consistent policies and procedures can be ensured. Information managed within these profiles and templates include ONT identifier and name, Ethernet port configuration, PoE settings, IEEE 802.1x, LLDP, RSTP settings, and NAC which are configured as autonomous rules-based provisioning. The Panorama Pond server, Panorama Software, and Oracle Database can be hardened to satisfy the requirements of the Joint Interoperability Test Command, or JIDIC, to securely function within a Department of Defense facility. JIDIC is a United States military organization that tests technology pertaining to the multiple branches of the armed services and government. JIDIC's mission is to provide a full range of rapid, standardized, and customized test, evaluation, and certification services to support global net-centric capabilities under all conditions. Security Technical Implementation Guides, or STIGs, can be downloaded and are open to the general public. The STIGs contain technical guidance to lock down information systems, software, that might otherwise be vulnerable to a malicious computer attack. It is true that the Telabs Panorama Pond Manager provides much of the system-wide centralized intelligence, control, automation, and management. However, there are other secure features and functionality associated with the optical line terminal and the greater optical LAN solution. Optical LAN system-wide security includes advanced encryption standard, service segmentation, authentication and authorization, access control lists, ingress rate limiting, and other IP Ethernet protocols supported. Advanced encryption standard, or AES, is comprised of an encryption algorithm and constantly churning keys. GPON uses 128-bit AES encryption for downstream transmissions. AES has been adopted by the U.S. government and is now used worldwide. So why does GPON have no encryption in the upstream direction? All upstream transmissions from all ONTs is granted and orchestrated by the OLT. The OLT has the intelligence to recognize rogue or unexpected ONTs that have not been properly authenticated or authorized. The GPON protocol is a stateful protocol. Therefore, any interruption of communications will be deemed suspicious, and that ONT will be quarantined immediately. Simply stated, the OLT and its centralized intelligence are managing tens if not thousands of ONTs simultaneously, and only it can decipher the order of the upstream transmission from multiple ONTs. In the past, LAN services such as voice, video, and wireless access were often physically separated onto different layer 1 cabling for security purposes. These overlay networks were costly to purchase and operate. 
negatively impacting building space, introducing wasteful material, consuming power, and emitting thermals. Today, it is accepted practice to provide secure transmission over a single physical network utilizing Layer 2 VLAN trunking because service level VLANs can extend to all endpoints. This is how optical LAN segregates and secures data flows to each client device. Even different ports and ONTs on the same VLAN can be offered with different service level agreements with VLAN trunking. What used to be relegated to disparate physical networks can now be converged over a single fiber with optical LAN. Another important aspect of security over an optical LAN is the support of consistent authentication and authorization policies. This is accomplished through the Telabs Pond Manager with profiles and templates, relying on IEEE 802.1x, NAC, PAC, DHCP, and RADIUS. IEEE 802.1x provides controlled access through a strong authentication mechanism for end-user devices utilizing encryption keys. This helps with intrusion detection and protects from unauthorized activity down to per-user and per-device levels. Access control lists, or ACLs, assist with the end-to-end -end security across the optical LAN. These ACLs can be created at Layer 2, Layer 3, and Layer 4. Their purpose is to facilitate network protection for trusted and non-trusted devices and to operate in conjunction with authentication mechanisms. Telabs Optical LAN systems can support 2,048 basic ACL filters and 512 deep ACL filters with granularity down to the PON service module card. Ingress rate limiting is an element of security necessary when enabling Ethernet bridging across the optical LAN. Its purpose is to limit all broadcast ingress diagrams down to a controlled and safe level. Rate limiting can be enabled on any ACL, not just broadcast. It protects against network flooding and blocking and can be set in 64 kilobit per second increments. Rate limiting greatly reduces the potential for denial of service, redirects, or other malicious attacks. It should be noted that Telabs Optical LAN systems exceed the expectations and needs of enterprise LAN standards-based Ethernet and IP protocols. That is, Telabs Optical LAN systems support a long list of IEEE and RFC protocols, too numerous to list for the purposes of this overview. The optical plant, also known as the fiber cabling infrastructure, can make significant contributions to overall security. Fiber optic cabling is more secure than copper cabling. Fiber is not susceptible to interference, nor does it introduce interference. With fiber, you have no crosstalk, no EMI, no RFI, and no EMP. The opposite is true of copper cabling, which allows radiated emissions that can be tapped without physical access. You cannot listen to fiber from any distance, and one would need to physically access fiber to gain entry to fiber-based communications. Physically tapping fiber is tremendously difficult, taking into consideration the expertise and equipment that would be needed. In the end, GPON is a stateful protocol that will detect all abnormal rogue and intrusive events. So the physical tapping event will be thwarted. All secure PON is a means of building highly secure LANs by combining the inherent security benefits of optical LANs with armored, alarmed, and monitored fiber cabling. All secure PON delivers unparalleled performance, security, and information assurance. It is JIDIC certified, NSTI SSI 7003 compliant, and deployed throughout the U.S. Department of Defense. All secure PON can now be utilized by other vertical markets, such as healthcare, finance, in education, which experience the high costs associated with data breaches and thus require highly secure LAN. With all secure PON and its armored, alarmed, and monitored fiber cabling, 
both CAPEX and OPEX are drastically reduced. With the constant auto learning threshold monitoring of the cabling, the requirement for periodic visual inspections is removed. The cables can then be installed out of sight above ceilings and below floors. Real world businesses cases for all secure pond have showcased 66% savings in installed costs and 75% in faster moves, adds, and changes. The ONTs are inherently secure as well. Optical LAN ONTs are designed with no local management access. This is done because there are few needs for human touches at the ONTs. The ONTs are basically simple optical to electrical terminals. Furthermore, optical LAN has centralized intelligence and management. No information is stored at the ONTs. That is, user and provisioning information does not reside there. ONTs are a thin client. User and device policies are managed solely at the OLT. Thus, ONTs can move freely around the LAN and be sent back to the manufacturer for repair and return without the risk of network or user data being compromised. What if someone with malicious intent tries to access ports on the ONTs? The open unused ONT ports are disabled by default and cannot pass traffic. And even if that open port somehow got activated, connectivity would be blocked by network access control protection mechanisms. The activation of an open unused ONT port can only be done centrally back at the secure pond manager console, most likely positioned in a locked room. Pulling a working service connection from an active ONT port triggers an alarm through the PON manager, and then, once again, there is NAC protection that would block illicit activity. A common question is, if the fiber is tapped at the ONTs, could meaningful data records and files be extracted? First, know that the reflection loss is too great to recover any ONT's upstream signal at another ONT. Second, only the OLT can sync upstream data from multiple ONTs because the upstream frame alignment is offset. This offset frame alignment means that an intermediate interception would not have the correct frame alignment synchronization. Therefore, no useful data could be gathered. Last, even if inline monitoring of a single ONT were attempted, once the fiber is accessed, the OLT would immediately detect the breach and alert the system to the fiber tampering. There are other physical security features at the ONT worth noting. The Telabs 120W ONT faceplate screws are alarmed through Telabs PON Manager. Also, there are lockable cover options that can be deployed with Telabs 100 series ONTs and Telabs 700 series ONT end devices. In this module, you have learned about network security relating to the Telabs Panorama Pond Manager, system-wide applications, the optical plant, and the optical network terminal.